In this lesson, the target states, I can use ratios and proportions to examine and create scale drawings. And ratios and proportions come from previous lessons. We've already studied ratios and proportions in this chapter. So we're going to apply our knowledge of ratios and proportions to scale drawings and identifying the scale factor. A scale drawing is a proportional, two-dimensional drawing of an object. The dimensions of the actual object relate to the dimensions of the drawing by a ratio called the scale factor. So we're often going to be asked to determine what the scale factor is. Scale is often used when we are reading maps. Every map has a scale on it. The map has a scale because it's a sized down version of the real thing, like a model car. If you've ever made a model, a model is a scaled down version of the original thing. And it's scaled down in every proportion by height, by width, by size overall. Architects often use scale in architectural drawings of a real building. The building might be hundreds of feet tall and hundreds of feet wide, but on paper it's just a few inches tall and a few inches wide because it's been scaled down by a scale factor. And when we're printing things, we can often print things with a scale factor to fit, fit a certain size. So let's try an example. The first thing we're going to be able to do is identify the scale factor. So the units being used in this problem are inches. If we had a race car that measures 132 inches long and 66 inches tall, that's actual height, and the model of the race car has been scaled down, the model of this race car is 11 inches long and 5.5 inches high. So the question is, what is the scale factor? How much bigger is the race car than the model car? Or what fraction of the race car is the model car? To do this, we'll look at a ratio of the model car to the race car. If we compare the length of the model car to the length of the race car, we get the ratio 11 to 132. If I reduce this, I'm going to use a calculator to see if 11 goes into 132, and it does. 11 goes into 132 12 times, so I can reduce 11 to 132 down to 1 to 12. I'll also look at the ratio of the car's height, because if the ratio is the same, that means the model car is a perfectly scaled down version of the race car. The model car's height is 5.5 inches to the real race car's height of 66 inches. I'm going to see if 5.5 goes into 66, and it does 12 times. So if I reduce 5.5 over 66 to 1 12th, 1 over 12, I get the same ratio. So this, what is the scale factor from the race car to the model car? The model car is one twelfth the size of the race car. Or you could say the race car is 12 times bigger than the model car. So the scale factor is 12, the race car is 12 times bigger than the, than the model, or you could say the model car is one twelfth the size of the race car. So since the scale factor was the same for length and height, then the model car would be a perfectly scaled down model for the race car. Another way we use scale factor is on maps. On a map of Florida, the distance between Hiale, right near Miami, and Tampa is 10.5 centimeters. So if I had this paper map in front of me and I measured the distance from there to there, it'd be 10.5 centimeters. If the map scale is 3 centimeters to 128 kilometers, what is the actual distance d between those two cities? So when we do this, we often compare the map's distance to the actual distance, the smaller over the larger. Every 3 centimeters a map gives me 128 kilometers of actual distance. So we use the ratio of 300 3 to 128. And we compare that to what we know. And what we want to know is how far is the actual distance. 
we'll put D down here because the, the proportion we're setting up is 3 centimeters to 128 kilometers is equal to 10 centimeters to D distance kilometers. We, we don't know this is the answer. What is the actual distance? So we put together the proportion and we solve it. 3 is to 128 as 10.5 is to D. So I'm going to cross multiply and I'd get 3D equals 128 times 10.5. I'm going to use a calculator for this so I can make it quick. 128 times 10.5 is 1,344. So 3D equals 1,344. I would then divide by 3 to get D alone. D equals 448 kilometers. So the distance between this town and Tampa is 448 kilometers using the scale factor of 3 centimeters to 128 kilometers. Okay, now you try. Click pause and solve these two problems. And when you're done solving them, click play to see the solutions. Number one says, identify the scale factor. If we were making a model of an eagle, if the eagle's wingspan is 90 inches and the model is 6 inches, what's the scale factor? Number two is kind of like the map question. On a scale drawing, a kitchen wall is 6 inches long. The scale factor is 1 to 24 for this kitchen. So what is the length of the actual wall when we build the kitchen wall? Good luck. Click pause and try both. Okay, for number one, to find the scale factor, I need to put together a ratio. And I can put together the ratio a few ways. If I put 90 inches over 6 inches and I reduce it, I get the number 15. Inches cancels out. So I'm left with 15. The real question is, what does this 15 mean? Well, the eagle is 15 times bigger than the model. So the model is 1 15th of the eagle size, or the eagle, another way to think about it, is 15 times bigger than the model. So if I wrote my ratio the other way to find the scale factor, I would have gotten 6 over 90. And if I reduce it, 6 goes into itself once, and 6 goes into 90 15 times. So I can put the ratio together two ways as long as I know what I'm getting. So the scale factor is 1 15th. The model is 1 15th the size of the eagle. Or you could say the eagle is 15 times larger than the model. But this is probably what we would go with. What's the scale factor from the eagle to the model? The model is 1 15th the size of the eagle. So on a scale drawing, a kitchen wall is 6 inches long. The scale factor is 1 to 24. So what is the length of the actual wall? To solve this, we have to put together a proportion. And one part of the proportion is going to be missing. So what I do know is that the scale factor of the model is 1 to 24. It kind of means for every 1 inch on the model, there's 24 inches on the actual wall in the kitchen. What we do know in the model, the kitchen wall is 6 inches long. What we don't know is how long the actual wall is. We'll call that x. So the scale factor of 1 to 24 equals the length of the wall on the model, 6 inches, to the part we want to know how long the actual wall is. So I'm going to cross multiply. 24 times 6 equals 1 times x. So 1x equals 6 times 24. 1x is just x, and 6 times 24 is, I'll use a calculator, 6 times 24 is 144. So the actual wall is 144 inches long. So does that make sense? Would the kitchen wall be 144 inches long if its model scaled down 24 times with 6 inches long? It does. So 144 inches would be the answer.